Go man. Johnny, we got a ball pad. One, two, three. We deserve the ball. Bobby Colt fans possibly robbed here, but it was a no disqualification match. Johnny George, even if they used chairs, you couldn't disqualify him. Well, Bobby Colt jumped off the top rope, which is an automatic disqualification, but I didn't disqualify him. So the winners are? Uh, the Mad Maxes. <laughs> and Supermax. The Mad Maxes are the winners. Fans. We'll have to leave all of you in the midst of this action. We'll see all of you next week. This is David McLean for Championship Wrestling with George Cannon. So long. Did you just wait and wait for your last pair of glasses? Never again. At LensCrafters, we custom grind your lenses in about an hour, even bifocals. Listen. I was out within 50 minutes on a very crowded day. I went out to brunch. When I came back, the glasses were ready. Can get your glasses done within an hour, like the commercial advertises. I was amazed at the reasonable price. Come watch us make your glasses in about an hour. Call for an eye exam or bring your prescription. LensCrafters, Castleton Mall, outside the main entrance. I went to this one dealer and said, I'm looking for a truck. He said, trucks, don't sell many of them. I think our truck lot's out back somewhere. <laughs> then I went down to Blossom. Trucks aren't a sideline there. They've got S10s and Blazers, full size and half tons, gasoline or diesel, two-wheel drive or four. Blossom's got the selection, the deal, the service, and people who know trucks, too. Blossom Chevrolet, we're big on trucks. Lord, they're good people. Oh, I think I see that old boy's truck lot now. Hurry, end of the New Year clearing sale at Devington House Furniture. Save 50 to 75%. Lane Love Chest, regularly $349 or only $118. Six-piece pit groups, regularly $899 or just $388. Famous Maker Sofa and Love Seat, regularly $1,175, just $488 for both. Twin size bedding, just $77 a set. Bunk beds, regularly $129, now only $57. Finance or charge it at Devington House Furniture, 46th and Arlington. Sale in Sunday at 5 p.m. Okay, lazy bones up and at him. Come on now, Van. How are you ever going to earn a living lying there relaxing in that spa? Hey, Bob, I work hard and I play hard, and this water relaxes my aching muscles and relieves tension. And when I feel well, I do well, and that makes me money. And that makes a lot of sense. You know, folks, you can relax the minute you decide to buy your spa, Van Slyke. It's the country store where, oh, that feels good. Your dollars always buy more. We're on US 31, a mile south of Whiteland Road, and I tell you what, you like Van Slyke. Fans, you're going to see it. It's all you Before have Before you say. rudely interrupted me, when I signed that contract, it was to be Bobby Colt and Yukon Moose Cholak to take on my champions, the Maxes. But that's water over the dam right now. Right now, they're going to have to face up to these men right here, the most devastating tag team in all of professional Look wrestling. Look at these guys. At Get these in guys. on this camera shot. Look at these. These are the hogs. This is the King Harley Hog. Look at this guy. Does he think he's something? And this is the biggest one, Wild Hog. Fans, they're over 300 and some pounds. This one close to 400. You're going to see them in there, fans, against none other than the tag team champions. Who are the tag team champions? Hobo Brazil and Bobby Cole? Well, we had a football team with their last name that was a, well, that was a loser, and now you're going to be a loser also. Let me tell you something, Bobby Cole. You and Bobo Brazil, baby. It's just you and the hogs, Jack. And let me tell you, when we get done with you, there's not going to be anything left. It's just going to be like when we come out and slop you guys, you know? Like when well, you, you know, you guys hogs, came out here and interrupted Bobby Cole. Yeah, Bobby Cole. We interrupted He's him just because he was slandering He's, our name. He right. was calling him the pig. Hey, we don't even we. have to talk to these people no more. Fans, it's all coming Saturday, February 9th. Saturday, February 9th. 8 p.m. starting time, Northside Tyndall Armory, the main event. It's going to be a big 20-man, $20,000 over-the-top rope tag team battle royal. First time ever tag team action in the battle royal. Also on the card, fans, February 9th, Indianapolis, Indiana. Dick the Bruiser and the big Yukon Moose versus the Warriors. That's a little lumberjack match. Also, fans, you're going to see in action Wild Hogs. That's the return match. Fans, you're going to see Bobo Brazil and Bobby Colt versus the Hogs. 
for the Tag Team Championship of the World. What an evening of professional wrestling. Tickets available at all Ticketmaster locations. You can't ask for more than coming down to 7-Eleven North Pennsylvania to see wrestling. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday with entertainment this week as the Grammy-winning group Toto talks about their new music. This Sunday is Super on 6. With Welcome to All-Star Championship Wrestling. An hour of excitement with the biggest names in professional wrestling. And now, here's your ringside commentator. Championship Wrestling fans, we have a great lineup of matches today planned for you and interviews. So stay tuned. We'll be back with Championship Wrestling. On the next Benson, Benson's given a deadly assignment. You want me to pretend I'm President Okazi? Will you do it? No. And Klaus foils an assassination attempt. <laughs> surprised to see the traditional cane dance of my country. Benson, weekdays at 5 on 6, the leader. J.R. Seller, active 4-H'er, enjoys the summer activities of Camp Little Red Door. I was one of the first kids to go to Camp Little Red Door. It makes me feel good about myself. J.R. was diagnosed with Hodgkin's disease in 1977. But Camp Little Red Door is set up to handle the special needs of kids like J.R. Next to riding my horse, Drazar, I like to go to Camp Little Red Door the best. Should cancer strike, call the Little Red Door, Marion County Cancer Society at 925-5595. Helping is our business. There's a crisis in Africa. Because of unprecedented drought, war, and inflation, hundreds of thousands of people throughout the continent are facing the pain of starvation. I'm Joe Short of Oxfam America, the nonprofit development and relief agency. We're working to get vital supplies to the hardest hit areas and to expand our long range projects to prevent more suffering. To help, write Oxfam America Boston or call 1 800 227 3800. Ask for Oxfam. Bad days. Everybody has them. Hello? No, not even with both of us working. The baby is crying. I gotta go. Even the littlest thing can set you off. Stop. Take time out. Count to ten. Get hold of yourself before you take hold of your child. Write Prevent Child Abuse, Box 2866, Chicago. This match is a one-fall, ten-minute time limit. At a weight of two... 61, King Harley Hall. He's devoted at 235 from Mexico City, the popular El Bracero Jose Martinez. <laughs> Welcome to Championship Wrestling, fans. What an exciting opening bout we have today! Hey, hey, check him out, Daddy! El Bracero doing it to King Harley Hawk, and he goes to the outside. Your referee for this opening bout, Johnny Shorn on the outside, Saul, and, Har and Big Wild Hog, King Harley Hog, in there against the most popular El Bracero. What do you think of those boots sitting next to me? My co-host, George Cannon. George, what do you think of those boots of El Bracero? Well, first of all, Dave, let me say hello to the wrestling fans once again this week and to assure them that stay tuned to us for another hour of excitement, action, enjoyment, thrills, spills, and chills. And as for the boots, I think they're gorgeous. <laughs> they are. They're bright. They're colorful. They sparkle. He looks like he should be in the disco with him. Or out on the stage in a concert tour. I'm just wondering, Dave, if he bought those boots off of Liberace. I don't know. That looks like something Liberace would wear, right? Very colorful, flamboyant. King Harley Hogg choking him. Sean telling him to break.
El Bracero, the high flyer, he can fly through the rope like no one else. Coming up later on today, you're going to see Abdullah Akeem. Also in there today, the hooded hangman, Calypso Jim. Gary Lawler, the king of Memphis, will be on today, trying his hand at wrestling one of the warriors. You'll also see, if time permits, a big one today, a big six-man tag team explosion. That's the main event on today's pro. Oh, King Harley Hawk, right into the turnbuckle. El Bracero jumping up, giving him a boost, one, two. Now, hitting him with the fist across the forehead, dazing him a bit. El Bracero. Oh, a big drop kick sends the hog out of the ring. King Harley Hogg, El Bracero through the second rope, flying through it, and Harley Hogg dumps him. He's on the outside. Hogg pounded him. El Bracero not able to get up. Soren counting away. King Harley Hogg just staying in the ring. Haunting the fans. There's a 20 count on the floor. Saw kicks him. The bell sounds and El Bracero is counted outside the ring on the 20 count. The winner of the match, unfortunately, is King Harley Hogg. Fans, stay tuned. We're going to be back with some interviews and messages. Hot selling. Tom Wood Pontiacs, in stock, on sale. Just $288 down, and you own any new 85 Tom Wood Pontiac, including these air-conditioned specials. Grand Prix, Bonneville, or Pontiac 6000. Your choice, just $227.12 a month. Sale price at $98.88. Tom Wood's new Firebird, $84.88. You pay only $194 a month. Our new Sunbird, just $68.88. Yours for $156.14 a month. Own the Pontiac you want on sale now at Tom Wood. Ex-lovers, find it out in court. Saying she bit your chest? Yes. And I had to get up and run out the door. The defendant replies... The only thing I could do was bite him, and he did release me. He was just trying to defend himself. And I had to put her in a nice headlock just to put her down. The fight continued. Because he did have me in a chokehold, and I could not breathe. Then his mom stepped in. And I just bent over when she grabbed my ankle, and I slapped her across the face. Weekdays at 5.30 on 6, The Leader. Fans, you're going to see it Saturday, February 9th, 8 p.m., Northside 10 Armory, five all-star matches. And fans, it's going to be a great night of championship wrestling. Tickets available at all Ticketmaster locations, Blocks Department stores, Karma Records, and they're available at the box office Saturday, February 9th, right after 1 p.m. You can go up there and get tickets at the door of the box office right there at North 711 North Pennsylvania Avenue. Main event, fans, you're going to see it. 20 men in the ring at the same time, $20,000 to the winner. First time ever, 10 tag teams in there, fans. If one of the hogs goes over that top rope, the other hog has to leave. It's a tag team night of wrestling, five tag team matches, five single bouts. Oh, you better not miss it. The main event, fans, is that one. And also, you're going to see on the card, Dick the Bruiser and Yukon Moose. They're one tag team combination versus Supermax and Mad Max in a lumberjack match, the Maxes won't be able to run. You've seen on the TV tapes how they scatter around that ring all deliberately. Well, the wrestlers will be out there like a human cage to throw them back in. Also on the card, you're going to see the tag team championship match. None other than Wild Hog and King Harley Hog going for the championship against Bobo Brazil and Bobby Colt. Bobby Colt didn't want to come out this week. Due to what happened last week, he was interrupted. Well, I asked him politely, and he is coming out on today's telecast. Bobby Colt right now, fans, one half of the Tag Team Championship. And, Bobby, it's great to have you out here. Hey, David. Right out there, Hogs. 
The World Tag Team Championship belts. Here comes Saul also. You He's know, coming out now. You know, every time I talk, on, I see this guy. I'm sick. Wait I'm a second, Cole. You. You You're going to talk about me and the Hogs. I'm going to be right here. Do you understand that? Champions. Hold on. Let Let me tell you we're going to be back in a moment. Hold on. We'll be back in a moment, fans. Hey, stop. Turn off the camera. Come to Ed Martin for your best price on a new Oldsmobile or Honda. It's the most high-quality service. Ed Martin, you have to say it. He says the best reason for buying a new Olds or Honda from Ed Martin is he gives you the best service. He did win the National Quality Dealer Award from Honda, but the upfront price is still the best reason for buying. Ed yeah. oh, Martin Olds Mall. Ed Martin oh, Honda at 7 and 800 oh, North Sheeran, right. across oh, from East right. Mall. For oh. price and service, the best of both worlds. Price. Uh, Now, most folks will venture as far as that canyon down there. For some of us, there are no limits. A lot of cereals seem to go the distance for a lot of folks, too. Grape Nut cereal takes breakfast where I want it to go. All the way to all natural. No added sugar, nothing artificial. Wheat and barley for goodness in every crunch. See, there's no question Grape Nuts is right for you. The question is, are you right for Grape Nuts? It's Mr. Clark's Clean Sweep Sale, featuring low, low prices on all color TVs, VCR, stereos, and appliances. Quasar Color TV, starting at only $198. Quasar Microwaves at only $168. Keith, please, would you answer that phone? Remember, folks, people who really want to save money will shop Mr. Clark's The Little Stores with the Super Savings. Keith, who was that on the phone? That was Mr. Clark. Mr. Clark, what did he want? He said, cut those prices another $25. Oh, brother, now we're giving them away. Welcome to the International House of Pancakes. I'm here for your uh, Rudy Tootie fresh and fruity breakfast. Two <laughs> eggs, two bacon, two sausage, two fruit top pancakes. Right. Strawberry, blueberry, peach, or cinnamon apple. Yes, it's a great breakfast, but um, Rudy Tootie fresh and fruity? I'm embarrassed to say it. Join the club. The International House of Pancakes Rudy Tootie fresh and fruity breakfast special, only $2.49. This match is a one-fall, ten-minute time limit from Parts Unknown at 280, Abdullah Keem. His opponent from Dayton, Ohio, 215, Ronnie Z. Connie Marker giving the instructions, checking the wrestlers for any unusual garb, oils, or ornaments. And obviously, Abdullah has all of them, George, and he's disrobing some of them now. Well, you know, this is the debut of Ronnie Z in this area, and I know the wrestling fans watching the show will be seeing Ronnie for the first time. What a way to make a debut to go against Abdullah. Just take a look at that man. I wonder what Ronnie's thinking right now. What have I got myself into? What about, what do you think Abdullah's thinking? Look at that guy. You think he's all there? Well, I don't know. Abdullah says he's from parts unknown. He could be from anywhere in Africa. be from Kenya, Uganda, Togo, Benin, Angola, Algiers. Who knows where he's from? There's 55 countries in Africa. But let's hope he's not from a country that practices cannibalism. I wouldn't want him to eat Ronnie Z right here on the program, Dave. He just may do that, eat him up, in fact, and pin him. Ronnie Z outweighed and possibly, one might say, outpowered. Abdullah giving him the thumb thrust. The referee in the ring for this bout, the Dean of Referees, Connie Marker, a gentleman one that enjoys professional wrestling, golfing, as Johnny Shorn does. Great stakes. He has the great stakes in Richmond. And also, he loves soccer. Connie Marker, one of the many fans of the great champions in soccer. Indiana University with Coach Jerry Yegley and the superior athletes, the Hyla brothers from Dick the Bruiser, Show Me State, St. Louis, Tim and Mike Hyla. What a great year they've had playing soccer in the NCAA tournament, Indiana University. 
Ronnie Z, a graduate of Dayton University. This is a bit different than collegiate wrestling, he's finding out, with the ropes being used of, as leverage from the insane one, Abdullah Akeem. Well, it's very obvious that uh, Ronnie is a tie road to the business of professional wrestling, and a lot of the fans may wonder why a fella coming into professional wrestling would sign up to wrestle a person that has the caliber of uh, Abdullah, and the reason being is this, David. It's much better for you to get into the business and wrestle the top names, the very best that you can possibly get into the ring with. That's where you learn. You don't learn by getting in with fellows of your own caliber. You have to wrestle people who are always a little better than you, and that's how you will learn. And Ronnie might take a beating today, but in the future, this is going to pay off for him because he will know what to expect. And after a few matches, he'll get everything under his belt, everything down line. He'll be ready to go against Abdullah sometime in the future and give him one hell of a tussle. Examples of that, George, are in Roger Ruffin and another person that comes to mind, Saul Creechman. Well, I would, I would agree with you with Roger Ruffin to some degree. Saul Creechman, I'm, I'm not at liberty to say because, quite frankly, I don't like Saul Creechman. I don't like his methods. I don't like his tactics. I don't like his arrogance. I don't like his, the, the manner that he has when he comes to the ring. I can't ever see Saul Creechman going into the ring and be a wrestler deserving of the professional wrestlers that I have known because of the way he is. He's devious. He's sly. He's sneaky. He's all of the disgusting things that I know about professional wrestling. Of course, some people might like that in Saul because I'm sure that the man is married and has a family someplace. Saul Creechman fans, not a favorite of George Cannon. Abdullah Akeem ripping away at this Ronnie Z. No managers around, making the job a bit easier for Connie Marker. All the action contained within the ring. Top of Ronnie Z choking him. Ronnie Z's arms are even too short to reach Abdullah. Abdullah still pounding on him. He can take this match anytime he wishes to now. Abdullah's in control. Complete control. <laughs> Abdullah now looking up into space. Abdullah just laughing. Two minutes remaining in this bout before the time limit expires. just taking over him, George, at will. Well, I think that's the finish there, but Abdullah being the type of wrestler he is, he knows that he has running beat. He's taking advantage of the situation. He's not going to pin him for a three count now. He's playing with him like a baby. He's doing what all wrestlers want to do at some time or other, and that's have an opponent 